right now we are concentrating on the function of topoisomer is 1 right what topoisomer is 1 does it has one nucleus domain other ligase domain with the nucleus domain it breaks the phosphodiester bond in a super twist of one strand let the free ends of the cut strand untwist around the intact strand and once they have untwisted enough then its ligase unit right will seal this point or ligate this point is that right so this is how topoisomerases are at work ahead of the replication fork so that a problem of super coils should be solved is that right this was topoisomerase 1 actually there are topoisomerases other type also for example here is topoisomerase 2 right and this topoisomerase 2 is different than topoisomerase 1 why it is called topoisomerase 2 because it has two cutters it has two cutters now it's too easy to understand if it has two cutters attention please topoisomerase has two cutters it will cut one strand or two strands both strands now look under what circumstances it is useful attention please when in human cell all the chromosomes are replicating their dna it is quite possible that multiple pieces of dna become tangled with each other multiple double strands may become tangled with each other let's suppose here is a dna double strand and there is another dna double strand right and still there is one more dna double strand right under this situation we need a enzyme with powerful untangling technique the enzyme which come into place topoisomerase type 2 topoisomerase type 2 how this is going to work attention please look here it will bring its both cutter let's suppose it want to bring the black double strand in front of the green it will cut the both strands bring both ends forward and then with ligase reseal them you understand how wonderful right so we have different topoisomerases what are the functions of topoisomerases to alter the topology of dna now I want to tell you one more thing. There are positive supercoils and there are negative supercoils. You know, normally DNA has certain normal degree of twisting. If DNA gets more than normal twisting, we say positive supercoils. And if they become less than normal twisting, it becomes negative supercoils. Again, let me repeat it. Normally, DNA has a certain degree of coiling. If some segment of dna is over coiled then we say positive super coils and if it is under coiled then we call it negative super coils and topoisomerases can solve the problem of positive super coils as well as negative super coils topoisomerases can solve the problem of positive super coils as well as they can solve the problem of negative super coils right and after knowing this thing, one more thing. Why I have spent so much time to make this diagram and print in your mind there is a nucleus end and there is ligase end. There is a big importance to that. Some drugs work on these enzymes. Have you heard of the drugs called quinolones, ciprofloxacin, flu, floxacin, ofloxacin? Maybe some of these drugs you have used as well or prescribed to someone. Quinolones. Now, Dr. Maliha is going to tell us how quinolones work. Yes, please. Do you have any idea? She doesn't want to reveal her knowledge. Yes, Dr. Sadaf, you will tell us. She also wants to hide her knowledge. Dr. Zainab is there. You can bring something out of your knowledge bank and tell us that how the quinolones work when you give me suprafloxacin. It kills bacteria. How come? Any idea? Probably stops the replication of 
But how? Of course, but how? You know, tell you, you have to go beyond this. It's USMLE and you should be aiming for 99. You should be crystal clear, not only clear. You want to tell it. I don't want to listen. <laughs> right? Okay. Please tell. Excellent. She is telling that ciprofloxacin or ofloxacin or getifloxacin or all the group of quinolones, basically these enzymes stick to this point. These drugs, sorry. These drugs block this point. If, what is this drug? Right? Ciprofloxacin or quinolone simply. Okay. Why don't you write it like this? Quinolones, quinolones block which point? Ligases. Now, look. If quinolones block the ligases, when, now, enzymes present in bacteria will keep on cutting, but will they reseal? No. All the bacterial DNA is converted into fragments. And do you think bacteria with all its DNA fragmented can multiply? No. Or even live? No. This is exactly how quinolones work. It's so simple. It truly is not our drug which kill bacteria. It's the bacterial enzyme which kill bacteria. Even many bacteria like E. coli, they have topoisomerases which are working even normally. Attention please, concentrate on this point. Bacteria have some clever enzymes, topoisomerases or DNA gyrases. Some DNA gyrases keep on working even when bacteria is not replicating. What these DNA gyrases are doing? They are untwisting the DNA, producing a cut, untwist, reseal, cutting, untwisting, resealing, cutting, untwisting, resealing. Is that right? Why the, these enzymes are working even a bacteria which is not multiplying? Answer is very simple. Because whenever replication of DNA is required, whenever replication of DNA is required, what will happen? DNA is already loose. Is that right? DNA is already loose and replication can proceed far, fast. But unfortunately, bacteria also suffer due to human crimes. What is our crime? We feed the bacteria on quinolones. And it's very ruthless treatment of the bacteria. What we do? Quinolones put their cues in ligases. So DNA gyrases have nucleases which are working and they have ligases unit which are not working. What will be the result? That they will keep on cutting the DNA, fragmenting the DNA, but they will not reseal. Now what they are doing? Cutting, untwisting, but not resealing. And if this process is repeated thousands of the time, all DNA is fragmented into pieces and bacteria will die. This is how quinolones work. Point number one. Point number two. In the same way, there are certain drugs which are used for human cancer cells. You know cancer cells under proliferate or over proliferate? Over proliferate. And in human cancer cells also replication is going on. When in human cancer cells replication is going on, we want to kill the cancer cell. One way to kill the cancer cell is give some drug like quinolones which will concentrate in our cancer cells. And stick into ligases of cancer cells. Ligase point of topoisomerases of cancer cells. What will happen? That cancer cells will keep on trying to replicate their DNA. Their topoisomerase will keep on cutting the DNA. But can they reseal the DNA? And cancer cell DNA will be fragmented into millions of the small pieces. And cancer cell will die. Do you know the name of these drugs? Yes. Very good. Etoposide. E toposides. Or there are tinipocytes. Tinipocytes. So etoposides or tinipocytes are anti cancer drugs. And quinolones are anti bacterial drugs. Quinolones work on bacterial topoisomerases and etoposide and Teniposide work on human 
topoisomerases. Is that right? Both drugs block the ligase point but let the nucleus point work. So DNAs are fragmented but not resealed. 